everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning May 24th, 2021. We have this lovely, lovely message coming in. It does not mean that things aren't going to be happening this week or any week, but there's this lovely message here of you have always been loved since the time you were imagined. So there's this feeling here, and some of you might roll your eyes at that. You might be like, really, that's how you're going to start this week. If you did have sort of a negative reaction to me saying that, go off and look at that. Why is that so hard for you to believe? Now, Archangel Metatron has been a huge presence coming in. I am working on new content for you guys, Akashic Records, Metatron's Cube, connecting with Metatron. I think we're going to make him the next meditation challenge. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't yet done it, get over there and check out the Archangel Michael 7-Day meditation challenge but we're uh, gonna be bringing him forward and I really there's just so much there and I want to be careful about <laughs> how I put things together and what I put out there so that especially on an issue or on a topic I should say on a topic like Akashic Records people aren't misusing it okay so that'll be coming give me some time on that again that's kind of a big project but Metatron was coming forward and saying you know let the people know this because as things unfold, as things occur and the world is falling down and it feels like we're in this confusing, just like this confusing bubble. It's like almost like an alternate universe sometimes, right? Where it's like, no, I swear these were the rules and now you're claiming those weren't the rules because I remember following the rules or, you know, I know I didn't say that. Remember, there are personality disorder type people out there who do that as a control mechanism, right? And a, man a manipulation. So we have to be careful of that. So it's already expressing through people. There are things in the world because it is morphing and changing, it's getting us very, very confused and it's getting us disconnected uh, and, and further away from remembrance of who we really are. And I think that's why Metatron is coming in here and just saying, remember, you have always been loved. As I explained on YouTube, this week has been crazy busy. <laughs> I'm late and even sitting down and recording this, but the messages will start to come even sometimes a couple of days before I'm getting ready to film. And so I was out, I do this sort of meditation walk. I don't know what you want to call that, but like this meditation walk and Metatron was coming forward with Archangel Michael and Metatron, you know, I was asking for messages and what do I need to know now? Hang with me here. This is a message for you too. And I suddenly got this vision of all of these beings completely lit up and I felt so surrounded in love and he said these are all of your guides you've only been dealing with and talking to a few of them here you are surrounded and they've always been with you you've always been loved and it's time to get comfortable enough to open your awareness and see them and get to know them and tell the people, tell everyone, this is what they have for them as well. You know, doing personal readings for people, I have people coming in all the time, and sure, they wanna know like how many guardian angels do I have, and we will pick up on what's closest to you. What I feel like Metatron is trying to show is like, yeah, th those are the beings that are, you know, closest in frequency to you right now to help you through whatever you're, you know, experiencing on your soul's contract, but as far as being loved and being watched over, all of us have these huge teams. Metatron especially wants you to know that, all right? So I'm gonna pass that part along. As far as the development and again, the process of remembering, this is going to be going on for a while. There could be individual level shocks, twists, turns, always, it's always gonna be, especially in these times, that's going to be happening. And then that's going to be compounded by what's going on outside of us out in the world. I am still stunned that I will see comments sometimes where people are getting really wound up in politics, religion, belief systems, whatever that, whatever type of thing has been laid upon us to divide us, people still are picking sides. You know what was just announced here in the United States concerning a certain topic, which is just going to further divide people. Okay, now that could, I just realized, as I said, that that could apply to a few things. 
but it doesn't matter. The point is, <laughs> there's still a new narrative and a new narrative and a new narrative, and it's all meant to divide us. It's all meant to um, make us hate one another. And when we're divided and we're in that low space, again, we're easily controlled. How many people out there are trying to have power struggles over one another? Or they're just so disconnected I'm hearing disconnected from humanity, that they start acting out in a way that might be disruptive or harmful or whatever to other people, but they have no awareness of it. That's a little scary, right? And you might see that in like a minor way where someone's just super entitled and they don't care about other people. And then we have you know really big examples of that as well. So the message here is to not allow yourself to get pulled into that. And that does not mean doing enabling behavior. I was just watching this conversation on Facebook and someone was talking about uh, people, you know, do you allow people who have fewer items than you in a grocery line, do you allow them to go ahead of you? And some people were commenting, um, yeah, of course, unless they come up and just demand it or just think that they're entitled to walk in front of me, then I'm like, no. (laughs) And uh, there was a person on there Sorry, I was about to cough. Uh, There's somebody on there who's like, oh, let it go. Oh, get a life. Who cares if they walk in front of you? Now, that's a bizarre (laughs) kind of, you know, so if you tune into the energy of like what that person might be doing, A, they might be one of those people who thinks they're entitled and just walks in front of people, perhaps. But I think, you know, picking up on the energy of this person, not invading their soul, not doing anything of the sort. I keep it real ethical over here, okay? (laughs) I just pick up whatever they allow people to pick up on, this is somebody who avoids at all costs. And then there's this other element of judgment on top of it for people who set boundaries. Do you see how this training, this brain training makes it so that we start to feel foolish for setting boundaries? We start to feel foolish if we don't just enable an entitled person. Now, this has been going on a long time. And the entitlement is out of control. I mean, now we, again, there's probably something going on with their brain, okay? But we see people who are doing really crazy things out in the world. And they don't understand what's wrong with it. They don't understand. Now, again, you might come in here and be like, well, that's a sociopath, but, (laughs) or whatever. But I'm saying, like, you know, we are always pinging an energy out and it's coming back to us. Now imagine all of us getting together and pinging this energy out and then it's coming back to us. What you see in another is also in you. And people hate that. No, I'm better than that person. We all have our internal struggles. We have our moments of hatred. We have our moments of, oh, I just want to get revenge on that person. Now your thought is not necessarily a deed, but as we will discover as we talk about the Akashic Records, everything, thoughts, deeds, all of it gets recorded, right? So it is an energy still that is being put out there. We're lowering our frequency collectively. Thought forms, influences. So in a way, there's a message here that we are contributing to the turmoil. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to like that, but too bad, (laughs) okay? We are contributing to it. We're contributing to fighting. We're contributing to the judgment, you know, whatever, okay? So if you're sitting there going, are you saying that it's my fault because someone goes out and does something horrible? It is all of our responsibility to make sure that every human being is, one, not getting abused. That's why I always say watch out for the children, to make sure they're not getting abused, do not diminish that abuse. We have to not just overlook things. We have to make sure that the children are being cared for. TV shows, I've brought this up before. I just watched another TV show where there are actual babies in a scene and the actors are screaming and throwing things and these children are screaming because they're actually being traumatized. That needs to stop. That We need to crack down on Hollywood for that. Enough is enough with that. It is not worth the authenticity of a scene to traumatize a baby. Are you kidding me? And how has that gotten to go on this long? It's incredible. So when we are aware of these things, and whether it's out of self-centeredness, laziness, fear of confrontation, you don't really know how to set a boundary. We all have different things that we're contending with. 
But when we get into a space of, well, I don't know what to do, you end up becoming part of the problem. We all do. We all end up becoming a part of the problem. So one, we have to watch out for one another, not in a policing kind of way, not in a judging kind of way, where I think, because the things that I've taken on, let's even say medically, again, I gotta be careful what I say here, medically, therefore you should be doing that too, but you don't know anything about that person's medical history, but you're going to judge them, okay? You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm sitting back going, wow, th if this isn't just another division tactic, I don't know what is. There's always that layer of judgment that we're being forced to put upon one another. And this is the next point on this. How often are people just worried about how they look socially so they'll just say whatever. They'll just go along with whatever popular opinions out there so that they look uh, like they're progressive. But progressive often barrels over some nuances and that just blows up on us later on, right? So that's the second point. The third point is that, again, we're turning away out of our own fear of what could potentially be warning signs. Again, that gets tricky because it's like, well, now we're trying to like, you know, say, well, how did you not know that was coming? It's sometimes impossible to know. But if we see that someone is disturbed and we don't check in on them, we don't check in on our fellow human, okay? Now, yes, there are psychopaths out there and there's just no helping them sometimes. I don't know. I'm not an expert in that area, but there are some people who just go and just do it and like, what can you do? But that's not most of the world, okay? Most of the world, um, the things that occur, I'm feeling, it's because we've been trained and brainwashed to hate. We have been trained to think of groups as our enemy. And there was some hope there. There was a generation that came in that was supposed to help even that out. And, you know, that generation obviously is still here, right? Uh, they're doing their best. And now we have a, another wave of children that are being born in. They started coming in around 2015. Yeah, that recently. And now they're trying to pick up from where this other generation left off because there's only so much you can do, okay? The point is, is that it all comes down to energy. So if we have bad thoughts in our head, it's pinging out there. Okay, and we see that as evidence. I know, I think I use this example too. I have this neighbor that lives behind me. She's loud. She's loud for no reason. <laughs> I don't even know what she's yelling about. And it, you know, so I always get aggravated with her. I'm like, does she not know that she's like disturbing the peace for everybody? And she curses out there and there are kids running around. It's like, just, ugh. it's like, ugh. it just kind of goes right through me. I'm like, well, you shush. But part of that is because I work from home and I got to film and I can't have somebody, you know, saying what she says in the background. So I have this kind of situation going on. But when I'm sitting and I'm thinking, God, would she just shut up already? She's so annoying. I got to do some work. I got so many things to do. She need to knock it off. You know, she does it even more. We've never talked. She can't even see my face. She can't see me getting frustrated. I'm in here. And yet the energy flows to her. And it might, I don't know what the actual reaction might be or what she's feeling, but perhaps it's this aggravation and she doesn't know where the aggravation is coming from and so it comes out even more. That's just one simplistic example. But if we remember that we are all loved, we've always been loved, and we have this huge team around us to help us, that does not, and they're coming in here and saying, <laughs> clarify that, that does not mean they're here to save you. They're here to guide so no getting like codependent with your spiritual team. I've had people do that. What does my spiritual team say about this? What do my spiritual team say about that? Ba, 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 ba. And I'll save you some money in a personal reading and tell you right now, they're going to tell you to get empowered. Now we can offer the information that can help you get empowered. But don't come to us expecting us to tell you what to do. We can't do that. It goes against human free will. That's not what they're here for. Okay. So if you heard that original message at the top of this reading and you went, oh, thank God, they can come and fix my life. It does not work like that. Stop being lazy. <laughs> you are in charge of your life. And it's not enough to just sit around and dream it. You have to bring it into fruition. Okay. So there's a message here about how loved we are, taking accountability for our own lives, watching our thoughts, watching the feelings, the emotions that come up. And even if it doesn't act out, 
that energy could contribute to a bigger energy and it could go into people who do act out. And the why is varied. Why they would be the ones to act out. They might have been someone who was abused. That's not making excuses. That's not. Wake up. All right. We need to stop sidestepping and go, no, they're just messed up. A lot of people who end up being in a very angry place, they, they probably have a backstory. They probably have somebody who was not very kind to them. Or they were taught that they were unlovable by the very people who should have been loving and protecting them. Right? We need to wake up to this. We need to be aware that we're not doing enough to take care of one another. We're not doing enough to take care of ourselves. And our thoughts and our feelings matter. They matter in a big way. So if you see something out in the world that you don't like, come back within and ask yourself, where am I emotionally? Where am I mentally? What kind of thoughts have I been having? Right? I caught myself doing this this past week where it was just, because I'm a sole proprietor, if you guys don't know, everything that gets done in my life gets done by me. I don't have anybody in here helping out, doing whatever, taking care of it. No, it's all me, right? And so there were things that were outside of personal readings and outside of videos, outside of like the creative part of my work that I had to take care of, like bookkeeping, taxes, you know, all of those things. And I found myself, you know, taking a break and then there's all this bad news everywhere. And I had to stop and go, okay, I've been sitting here stressed out, putting on these bad thoughts out there like this is so stupid I don't know if that's I never know what's going to pick up on the microphone but um we have big storms coming in and I better hurry up and get this video done because I don't want lightning sizzling out my camera or me okay but I had to stop and go okay I have had all these negative thoughts and it was a lot of uh negative self-talk too you know why why don't I know this better well because I'm not a CPA you know, maybe, maybe we can, and I want to offer this example, because where do you do that to yourself, where you diminish yourself for not knowing something that, why, why would you? Oh, I got to stay on top of all these copyright things. Oh my God, you know, like, why don't I know this better? Because you're not a lawyer, right? Do the best that you can, but really check yourselves, especially starting this week and carrying on. Remember, these aren't actually, you know, timed, right? You can go back to any reading that you see and see if there's a message there for you. But we need to clean this up. We need to clean up our thoughts. We need to clean up our emotions. This does not mean you're in denial. It does not mean you are sidestepping. It's just look at what's there. And if there's something that needs to be healed, wow, take the steps to care for yourself. And then, you know, you'll see that you have capacity to check in on one another. This is not to control, but just to check in. We need to take care of each other in a better way through thought and deed. All right, let's get on to the cards. I tried so hard to sit and do this reading before the wind started coming. That's, that's pretty bad. Whew. All right, let's get through this, guys. I want to I get this up. It's already late. All right. We have a lunar eclipse this week, don't we? Astrologers, my sisters and brothers who are astrologers out there. Yeah, right? In Sagittarius, I watch some of y'all. Because I don't know how to do that. So, <laughs> like, wait, what's coming up? Uh, so, see where that might be affecting you this week. Again, there are going to be things on a personal level. But remember, the kinds of messages that come through here and that will come from the angels, if you notice, they're not, they're not going to dig right into your life and start, you know, telling you what to do. As we said before, they're here to guide. So, whatever comes up for any of you or whatever's happening out in the world this week... Remember this message. Watch your thoughts. Watch your feelings. We can turn things around. We can make things a lot better. Okay. In the interest of time, I don't think I'm going to do B-roll on the cards, but I'll catch you next week with the B-roll. Okay. So have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. So there is probably going to be quite a bit coming up that is almost throwing us off track now if you are somebody who has indulged in that lower frequency and you don't see any way out this can knock you again think of somebody who is bruised and someone barely touches them and it just creates all this pain 
right? That might be some of the things that or some of the emotions that you guys might be experiencing this week. But this is saying all is not lost. Don't get into this mindset of, oh gosh, it's never going to get better. That's not true. <laughs> okay. That's certainly not true. We're coming through. We're coming through. They're saying an illusion. We're coming through a pattern. We're breaking free. So, and I should mention this too. I'm just now remembering a dream that I had where um, I was standing there and just every every which way everything was just crumbling and falling down and I was scared and I was you know shielding myself and yet the more stuff fell the more light that was coming out of me and there was some fear well it started out as fear and then in the dream it kind of went to this sort of wonderment of like what is this like what is lighting up here so have faith all right and this is yes have faith in your dreams but let's not keep everything don't be putting all your energy into a career well, Michelle, it's important, and this is how we experience being human is through a career or through a love partnership or whatever. That's all well and good. But if you become unbalanced, you become obsessed, whether it is love, you know, home buying, I don't know, pick something. What are you obsessed over right now? That's going to knock you out of balance, okay? I know I've been neglecting my health for a very long time. How many of you have been doing this? Because I've gotten so hung up in work, right? And... Again, I'll show this with you. Just yesterday, I was doing a lot of meditating yesterday. So I had Archangel Raphael come forward and I said, help me understand. Because some of the things I've been experiencing, I've been to doctors about it, tests come back normal. And, uh, you know, I started doing my own research and I felt very guided to certain information. And I understood there was just, and that's how you can get some messages for yourself. I just understood, okay, this is what I need to focus on. This is what's making my body not be optimal, you know, operating from an optimal space. Uh, this is why I have the symptoms that I do. So I'm not ever encouraging anybody out there to self-diagnose and to not seek proper medical advice. I just felt like I was getting clarity around my health and also the message as I was getting into here to be more balanced, you know, that I was neglecting my health. I am very active. I'm very active. I love being outside. But somehow, you know, that, that's not just going to do it. If I'm constantly stressed and, and wearing myself down, trying to do everything on my own, you see what I'm getting at here? So watch if you have messages coming up where it's like, okay, this is how you can realize it. it says, have faith in your dreams. This is how you can realize a calmer, more peaceful, more harmonious life. So you might get messages that you need to focus on your health, like me. Or you might get a... A message that you know you've isolated too long or you've taken too much in this relationship or whatever okay so watch for that it's gonna be uncomfortable I do have that feeling I do want to lay that down everyone's different you take it as it resonates for you but um, if it does start to feel uncomfortable remember the original message from the top of this reading you're loved you've always been loved you just have to remember that you're loved all right then we have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse it, 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 there's that word eclipse <laughs> full moon eclipse uh, well the full, yeah because it's a lunar eclipse full moon eclipse okay well let's talk so remember that dream i said where everything was kind of crumbling down just be prepared it's all right don't give in to the illusion whatever comes up this week now i might pop back on camera if something's going down i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens um yeah, because I have a feeling too, like things are going to have a very big turnabout that's been happening quite a bit. And we always see a little sign of that here, there, and everywhere. And uh, <laughs> this could be the end of debt as well, or you finally get the solution. This could be, for some of you, the end of a relationship because you are no longer going to um, consort with someone who's, al who's allowing a lot of dark energy to flow through them. Do so carefully, please do so with the guidance of an expert in that area, especially if you're dealing with somebody with some sort of personality disorder that can be extremely dangerous. So I am not that expert. This video is not meant to be a replacement for therapy, medical advice, or any professional advice of any sort. So conclusions are within reach here. I think, yeah, there, there's definitely going to be quite a few endings. Um, I feel people are coming out saying, we're not going to take it anymore. We're not going to take it because they start to identify 
with that energy of fighting. And yes, you need to be heard. Yes, there might need to be certain things, you know, so that you can get out there and be heard. Um, that wind, oh my gosh. Um, but be careful. Remember what we were saying? You got to watch the energy that you're putting out there, okay? So what I'm getting at, let's just recap really quick here. There are all these little pieces of the message that are coming through. This could be uncomfortable. This could make you panic. But don't let it make you panic. You are loved. You are supported. And whatever goes away needed to go, okay? You might, some of you out there, you're going to have um, a realization that you're like, no, I need to stop this habit, right? So it, this, it could be really positive in that way too. Where you're like, well, I don't really want to stop my bad habits, like whatever your vice is. But you're like, no, but I feel strong. I think this is the time. So, you know, it could be very positive as well, but still uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Okay. So then we have be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. And I immediately am hearing believe in yourselves. So if you are one of the people who's trying to stop a bad habit, and you're like, I can't. You know, I've been at this for 40 years. I, I just can't. Again, I want to be careful what I say here, but I can't lay that, that vice down, right? You can, actually. <laughs> you can. Be bold. Trust in yourself. Get out there and try it. Now, for some of you, I wouldn't recommend starting a business around this time because there are so many um, unknowables at the moment for individuals and for the world. But um, you, might just start, you might just start feeling this inspiration coming out. And so your first move, right? It says be bold to make the first move. The first move is not usually stepping in, didn't I say this last week? Stepping in front of somebody and saying, I love you. And maybe you barely know them, right? <laughs> That's not it. Okay. That's not it. The first move is usually the idea, the spark, the realization, the understanding. Okay. Everything else starts to fall into place after that moment. So again, I wouldn't jump into too much action just yet. All right. Then we have, you are good enough. See, full moon in Virgo. This is all about recapturing and remembering how lovable we are. That we don't have to give into these stories. We don't have to feed into it. We don't have to put our hearts into it. And that's what it is. We don't have to put our hearts into pain and fear and fighting and being at odds or however you want to put that. Think about where you are investing your heart energy, your heart intelligence. There are things that are getting resolved this week too. So again, it's not, yeah, it's not all bad. I, I want you guys to remember that it's not all bad, okay? Rainbow, connect to spirit in nature. The number is one. Rainbows are blessings. And I see calmer waters. I see, uh, you know, the beautiful reward after a big storm. <laughs> the storms that are moving in. So this is saying, you know, even if things feel turbulent, that we see turmoil, what have you, observe it, try to understand what's going on there, but don't, I'm feeling this, like I should say this, stop coming at people with your opinions. And I need to do that too. And, you know, I could be critical when I'm triggered, okay? I get triggered by many things, but people who are cruel, to children or animals, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get real matter of fact with you, right? Or if you're a misogynist, I'm gonna get real matter of fact with you. We have that out there, right? Again, go back to the beginning of the video. We're trained to hate one another. We're and it's not true. We don't need to hate each other. The people you have been taught are your enemy are not your enemy. We are not enemies, okay? So we need to get back in touch with the one. The number is one on here and working towards that unity. And yeah, we're going to come across people who they're in their duality consciousness. They're going to stick to whatever, but we don't talk to her. Okay. Like, <laughs> you know, this, we only contend with that if, if it's, you know, being forced upon us in some way. But even then we are all learning to be more loving processors. Yes. So when we say don't come at people with your opinion, it doesn't mean don't express your opinion, but do so knowing that it's one opinion and be open to hearing others. And if you feel stung or you feel something kind of rise up in you when you hear certain things, um, you know, take a look at that because that's your own pain coming up around that. Okay. Look at that. 
what, what can you do to come through, okay? We're going to end it there. There's so much more that could be said about this, but comment down below. Keep the conversations going, and I am sending you all so much love, and take care. Bye-bye.